carefully. Uh, right now I'm just trying to fill in some colors. Uh, won't, won't be putting detail on it for a little while yet other than just actually filling in the colors. Hey, we've enjoyed being with you so much today. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Come back next week and be with us again. Goodbye and God bless. Hey everybody, hello. Welcome to our show today. So glad you could join us. We're doing a special little painting here of an old country church. So like the one maybe we grew up in as a boy. Anyhow, hope you're painting with us, but if you're not, I hope you just enjoy it. Come over to the board and we'll show you what we've done. So far we've done all the sky. And there's a little ugly spot in it that we're going to have to get out. Can you all see that? That's where I hit it with the uh, with this big old palette. I couldn't find a palette that I liked that was big enough for me to work, so I just made me one. But anyhow, back to the painting. Okay, we've got this side pretty well coated in. I'm gonna brush it just a little bit more. When we left you last week was. Now, that's our highlight side. Now, what I mean by highlight, that's where the sun hits. But, it'll probably be even brighter than that when we're through, because we will go back and add some really distinct highlights on it. We'll show you that a little bit later. Right now, we're just putting in the bright side. I'm going to show you just in a second what I mean, but we'll put some real bright highlights in it. And I'm not going to go down into that uh, color just yet. I'm going to get this little area. Now I'm going to pick up a little more color. Go right down to the bottom here. And this don't really matter that much because this will probably all be covered up with the some kind of uh, bushes, trees, flowers, or something. Now before we go to the dark side of the little church, I'll show you what I was talking about. I'm going to rinse that brush out real quick. I'm going to grab a little straight white. And just come in and go over that just a little bit. And that adds a little bit of texture to it. Now, this side the same way. We don't want it to be uh, totally solid, if you know what I mean. We want it to be weathered just a little bit, I guess you'd say. Now, let's go to the uh, shadow side. Now, the shadow should be darker than the other parts. So we're going to take the same color, pull it right over here. We're going to take some paint gray and put with it. And maybe a touch of that blue too. And 
And I'm going to add just a touch more of the alizarin crimson. I hope we've got enough mixed up there. Let's try it and see what it looks like. Oops, got to rinse my brush out. I got white in it. I could grab another brush. I got a bunch of them here. Okay. This is the shadow side of our church. And there'll be a darker shadow right there. We'll do that later. Matter of fact, I believe that might be just a touch too dark for this side. I'm going to lighten that just a touch. Just a touch. The way I'm going to do that is with this color. Let's see if that's light enough. Now, if you notice, we just pulled a line down through there. And I'm sort of used to doing that so I can pull them pretty good freehand. But if you can't, just lay your palette down and get your model stick out and pull it. Now, that might still might be a little touch dark. I'm not sure. But when we lighten it up, we'll know. We're going to put highlights in it. Might be just a touch dark. So let's add a little light. I'm going to pick up a little white here. be the quickest way. Yeah, that looks better. Now, let's go to the tower. Now, you could use a smaller brush here if you wanted to. I'm sort of used to using these. A little bit bigger brush. Now this tower is probably where the church bell is at. Now on this particular side, I'm just putting in, let me uh, pull that line right down through there. Stop. This is a little uh, eave that you go in, I guess, out of the rain and the door to the church is on the inside of that. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. <clears throat> now I want to put uh, the other side of the church here. I'm going to put this same color in here. And I don't know if you can see the little cross member that goes across here. I'm trying to leave that so I can put that in a little bit later. I'm not sure what color that'll be. It may be, it may be a darker color, it may be a lighter one. This is the other side of the church. I 
Now, I'm going to put... Uh, this side is going to be a little bit lighter. Matter of fact, I'm going to get a touch of white and put it in there. Just I'll blend that out a little bit. That looks pretty good. I want to add just a touch more white. Right in here. Touch more right up here. That does it. Now I want to put a little shadow under here. And I've got a little shadow there, but I may put a, a little bit darker one there. So for that shadow, let's see if this color will do it. I believe it will. Hope you can see that on television. I believe I want that in just a touch darker. I could mix it with my brush. Let me do that. And I want a little shadow right there. make this side just a little darker to separate these two. That done it, didn't it? I want a little bit darker right there. Yeah, like that. That's it. Again, I'm brushing over it. If you can see, I'm I'm trying to not kill that little uh, line that goes across the top of the church. This little line here, I can still see it. I don't know if you can see it on TV, but when I go back to do that, I, I probably take my mouse stick and pull all those straight lines. This one, I want to over just a little bit farther. Yeah, like that. Now I want to pull that out. And I want that a little darker right there. I didn't. I've got it almost as dark as I like it, but I want it just a touch darker. So let's go back and do some revamping there. Here goes. Okay, that's about the way I want it. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Now I need that little line right there, and I want it to be uh, I want it to be darker yet. So let's go get a little Payne's gray. Mix it right there. 
See if that's dark enough. You might want to make it even darker than that. Yeah, I want it darker than that. Let's get a little more. And I'm still doing all this freehand, if you notice. Now we've got a little area right there, too. Uh, some of this is hard to get with a bigger brush. Okay, that's got that little thing area. Now I want it dark in here. Let's see how, maybe darker than that. Let's, I'm going to take almost straight Payne's gray in there. Then on the inside, I want it somewhat lighter right here. Like so. We'll come back and redefine that a little bit better later on. Okay, now what we need to do is decide the color of our roof. And probably it will be close to this color here because uh, well, it could be tin or it could be shingles. Uh, it could be either one, I guess. So let's mix up a little color here. I need a little bit of that brown, so I'm going to pull it somewhere. Let's pull it right here. Grab a little of that yellow. Sure, that might be too red. If it is, we can tone it down with Payne's Gray or the Van Dyke Brown, either one. Try a little Van Dyke, whoops, that's Payne's Gray, Van Dyke Brown. That's way too dark, I think, for what we want. That'd be good for our shadow color, though. So we'll just set him right there. Beautiful. Pull a little of that over, intermix it with this. A little bit more yellow. be what we need. Let's try a little bit of that. I believe I'll lighten it just a touch more. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. Same brush. Actually, we've used about two brushes 
three on this whole painting. Now, if you notice what I'm doing here, I'm actually uh, almost doing a glazing technique. Uh, instead of putting the color on heavy, I'm putting it on really, really light, really thin, in other words. Now, what that does, if you have detail under that, it still lets the detail come through. So basically, that's what I'm doing on the on the roof. And I sort of like that color. Let's go up. To the tower. Now, in order to get a point, what you do is you pull it up and pull your brush up. If you see, I've got a point right there now. I can come down here and pull this one. Now I've got a, uh, a little bit of detail underneath this one also. So what I'm doing actually is putting a little uh, glazing technique on that. Now we need the other side to be just a little bit darker. So let's darken it up just a little bit. Now the way we do that, we've got some mixed Van Dyke Brown right here. Let's go into that. This may be a little dark if it is. We'll lighten it up a little bit. I'm going to pull a little line right here first just to make sure. Uh, I like that, but I'm going to lighten it up on the outside. Show you what I mean. I'm trying to lay it down right in that little point. It helps if you got a steady hand. If you haven't, use your mall stick. It doesn't matter. That's that's pretty good. I'll put a little bit of dark right there in the corner. Now underneath, I want it darker. I'm not sure that I want it this dark, but I want it darker. Uh, I'm going to get a little Payne's gray. Let's mix it in a little bit right here. Okay, I'm trying to flatten the brush out a little bit. I'm trying to get it a little, oh, just make it thinner because this is a pretty thin line. That's about, about it. 
I want that a little darker on the other side, so I'm going to go into the paint gray. That's about it. Now what I'm doing now, I'm going back and just brushing a few little streaks in it. I may do the same right down here. And I got a, a little area right up here I want to show you. And here again, it helps if you've got a steady hand, because if you notice I'm pulling these lines and they're almost straight. I'll probably put a little darker there a little bit later, but I got an area right here that I need to, to fill in. So let me get that black out of there with a paint's gray accent. Most of it is. Okay. Okay. I've got a few minutes left here, so let me rinse that brush out. Now, we, we could go back and work a little bit on our... Uh, foliage if we wanted to and that that probably would be the next thing to do I'm gonna rinse that brush out now as far as the foliage is concerned I want to keep it I may put if you notice the first sketch I done I had a whole bunch of people there uh, so I may want to keep the foliage to a minimum until we decide if we're going to put a bunch of people in here or not. And that way we can maybe go around them. But I'm going to go ahead and put just a little bit in there. Let me grab a really good fan brush. Go rinse it out. It's got a little oil in it. Now what we can do on our foliage, uh, Being this is an autumn scene, we have a pretty good leeway of colors that we can use. Use browns, reds, oranges, yellows. This, let's try this. This may be a little bit now. What I may do right in this area, I may put a tree in there. And if you notice, a lot of times when you see a tree in the autumn, around on the ground, you'll see a whole bunch of leaves. So that may be what this is. Now, I'm not putting a whole lot of detail back here, but I want enough to... make it look alive back there. Oh, a little bit lighter. That's sort of a, uh, what we used to call a chrome, chrome yellow, close to an orange. 
I just want a little bit here. I don't want much right now.